Hey, it's Joe Kleinsman Automator, and I have here 10 videos. These are, each of these are MP4 files. You can see them, and let me launch one. They're Mexican music. Isn't it crazy? Huh. It's madness. Of course, it starts to. One day. And I downloaded them, downloaded them from YouTube, and I'm converting them to MP3 files because the Mexican restaurant just wants to play some music, and this way they'll have it without commercials. I'll put it on the loop and interject some ads. But anyway. I want to demo our tool, so I'm going to use Prompt Assistant here to launch our MP3 Ripper tool. Now, this tool actually could, um, it can also convert things to from just another form of audio. But first, let me, so I can select a folder, or I can just drop the files. I think 192K, because we're doing music. If we were doing just human voice, 48 is plenty, or even 32 if you want a really small file, which is, it's very handy. Uh, but let's go with uh, 192 is, is really good quality. I'm just going to take these. Here's 10 videos. And I'm going to drag them. Now, this is the amazing part, right? I'm going to drag them in here. Um, they're going at, what, 68, 69 speed? Um, X multiplier. So in very short time, I'm going to convert these 10 videos to MP3 files. So it's ripping out the MP3 file. So it's, it's really cool. It just kind of rips it out. It doesn't re-render it. Uh, and I'll be done here in no time. And we'll have MP3 files that they can have without having the videos, which shrinks the file size, um, and just gives them in, in the MP3 player I gave them. That's what they want. So you can see here we're almost done. But yeah, I could I could take the MP3 files. Let's say you had a bunch of MP3 files. Okay, and now I'm done. This says here total files converted ten. It's kind of hidden because I have the same colors in my background. But I'm gonna go maybe sort by type. So we have, here are our 10 audio files now and 10 video files. Um, so I could just put either delete these or I can put them somewhere else. But you see how quick and easy it is. Now my, what I was saying earlier is what I could do is say, hey, let's pretend I had started off with MP3 files or WAV files or um, FLAC files. And I wanted to create 48 kilobytes. And let's, um, so this is where I would say eh, 48K. That's going to get appended to them. Now this is going to take that audio, eh, let's drop it down to 32. And you know what, let's just do three to get the point. So it will take the MP3 files and create new versions of them that are of the other, this 48K bitness. And again, very fast, it's done. Let's see, Did it, sometimes Explorers has to refresh. Usually, yeah, I don't have any problems. So now we have two of these. That's interesting. It looks like it trimmed a little bit of time there. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Maybe when you're changing the bitness, uh, that shouldn't happen. Um, that's interesting. But look at that file size went from four, uh, five megs to less than one, or 10 to two. Uh, now I'm curious, let's play this one. 317. That was 317. <laughs> In VLC. Now let me see this one. Oh, that's interesting. Notice here it's saying 316 in VLC. 317, it got there. So why is Explorer saying it's a shorter length in time? That's fascinating. Um, let me go to properties. And details this will tell us also three it's saying 318 so it's incorrectly reported the time because when you actually play it it is the right length so that's fascinating um, I'll have to ask Isaiah if he has any idea why that is misreporting so it didn't cut the file it but for some reason it's reporting a different length and time I, I don't know what to make out of that but our tool seemed to have still created the file. You could hear the quality drop, hopefully. Um, very. I wouldn't use that for music, but for human, just speaking, it's amazing how tiny you can get these files. Uh, as spo supposedly, also, let's go back to the Alejandro. So here, where's the, here's the MP4 file. It started off at 85 megs. We got it down to 772 kilobytes. Uh, that's, that's quite crazy to me. So this tool, I forget what the price is. I'll link to it. Uh, and you can figure it out. I know it's over four ninety nine, so it's not in our um, all access pass, but it's still probably like nine, ten bucks, maybe twelve at the most. 
So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. We use we wrap a lot of stuff with uh, FFmpeg, and it just there it's we got a lot of really really cool tools that I use all the time, and I've been wanting to have an example that I can easily quickly show you, and so I thought this here's a great opportunity. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers. <laughs>